In Consumer Corner, we take a look at trends and products creating a buzz here in China. On today's show, we'll discuss the latest developments in the saga over Maotai's declining sales. 2012 was a truly tough year for the Chinese baijiu industry, especially high-end brands like Maotai. Not only did the record-setting prices of past years plummet, but stocks for the whole industry have taken a dive and swung wildly. Guizhou Maotai has long been the high-end market's flagship brand, and this year it stood out less for excellence than for a series of quality scandals. In dealing with rampant counterfeiting, declining government purchases, and safety scandals, Maotai has responded by setting a floor under the price of its premium liquor. Last month, Chinese media reported Maotai's leadership set a floor under Baijiu sold by its authorized dealers. At a national dealers conference, Yuan Ren Guo, the president of Maotai Baijiu, demanded that no dealers sell the brand's individual bottles for under 1,519 yuan or $244. Purchases through Groupon services or bulk purchases were given a slightly lower bottom line of $225 per bottle. Maotai's president threatened that any dealer who undercut the bottom line prices would be cut off from future sales. The move is a bid to prevent prices from falling further after allegations that the company's beverages contain excessive levels of harmful chemicals known as plasticizers. These non-negotiable price requirements were said to be aimed at stabilizing the prices and getting prepared for challenges during the upcoming holiday season. Soon after the news was announced, several dealers felt the heavy hand of punishment from the mother company. According to China Business News, Maotai has issued penalties for three dealers who either reduced prices below the company's standard or sold Maotai outside of their designated geographic region. The punishments include temporarily suspending dealership contracts and deducting 30% of the guaranteed deposit paid by the three dealers. In addition, an industry insider told the paper that Baishan Fangda Group, a large-scale franchiser and longtime Maotai collaborator, has received one of the harshest punishments yet. Maotai reportedly plans to impose a 30% cut to the franchiser's quota of Baijiu. That represents a loss of 6.9 tons of liquor worth millions of dollars. The recent punishments flipped the script on events that transpired two years ago. At the time, Maotai was a hot commodity, and the company punished dealers who sold at prices over a company-set price ceiling. The extensive media coverage of Maotai's attempts at controlling the damage has triggered plenty of discussion online. As the undisputed king of China's national liquor, Maotai holds a certain symbolic status for many Chinese as a leading and respected domestic brand. Reactions to the scandals and resulting fallout have focused on Maotai's place in consumption chains as well as its brand awareness. One poster called Wang Huashi wrote about the need for Maotai to market itself to ordinary people. Quote, the senior management is constantly talking about not relying on purchases by officials. So I have to ask, Mr. Maotai, isn't it time to swallow your pride, lower your noble head, and lower prices so that you can win over ordinary consumers? Otherwise, how are we possibly supposed to give up half of our monthly wages for a 1,500 yuan bottle of Baijiu? Other netizens were more tolerant as Maotai geared up for the fight to keep prices and profits stable. One poster wrote, from the perspective of market segmentation, Maotai has always been a high-end Baijiu brand. Although now the market has shrunk, Maotai's premium quality has not changed. If it lowers the prices on its Baijiu, the long-established brand may be damaged beyond repair. Still another commenter took a stand for dealers being punished by Maotai over price reductions. Xiaoping Yixing wrote, this kind of price protection order reveals Maotai's outdated marketing strategy, which is a holdover from the days of the planned economy. The market is always right. When market prices drop below 1,300 yuan, there's no point asking sellers and dealers to hold their prices at 1,519 yuan. If it wasn't for the negative news about the company's products, authorized sellers would surely be happy to see their business carry on as usual instead of suffering as they are now. What Maotai should do now is damage control to regain the public's confidence, a move which would make it easier for dealers to sell the company's liquor. Some netizens even made connections between Maotai's price controls and the price-fixing behavior by LCD manufacturers that earned them major fines recently. Commenter Tian Mu Sky Blue wrote, China has just punished six companies, including Samsung, for illegal price controls on LCD panels. Are Maotai's monopolistic price controls also illegal? Could it be the case that the government will only impose penalties on foreign companies for breaches of the anti-monopoly law? Is the law not applicable to Chinese enterprises, more specifically state-owned enterprises? The comparison there is timely, but it conflates industry-wide collusion with a single firm's retail pricing power over its distributors. With the first round of punishments apparently handed down, Maotai's leadership will be holding its breath and hoping the industry has already bottomed out.